I'm someone who's been playing RuneScape for around my entire life, and in that time, a lot has come and gone. If you don't know the history, RuneScape was at its peak in 2007. It was the fucking rage at primary school. All the kids dropped their Yu-Gi-Oh cards to play RuneScape, and it took my life and many others by storm. And then, a couple years later, they fucked up. <laughs> And they removed part of what made this magical world so great. And they moved to a non-biased description of RS3. And with RS3, it's not the same game as it was in 2007. And it kept making more and more mistakes, which drove more and more players away. So the creators of RuneScape decided, how are we going to get people back? So they made a new old school RuneScape. The point is, there's now two different versions of this game. There's old school RuneScape, which is more faithful to this 2007 version, and new school RuneScape, also known as RS3, which is, uh, not faithful to anything, and is a fine game in its own right. The point is, <laughs> I'm someone who's played a fucking lot of old school, too much that I want to admit on camera, and I'm someone who's now played a bit of RS3, and I thought, what's a way that I can more directly experience both old school and RuneScape at the same time? And so, uh, I've come up with a plan. I'd like to introduce you to RS3 is suck, and... OSRS is suck. RS3 just crashed as I <laughs> switched the camera to it. My end goal is to get a quest cape in both games, but I want to directly interact with both games while I do it. And I thought the best way and the most chaotic and the most fun in a way is that whenever I get a level in one game, I'm going to switch to the other one. So for these first few levels, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. But <laughs> as the game progresses, it's going to be really interesting as I'm trying to do the same thing and achieve the same quest cape. I thought it was a fun idea. I don't know why I'm justifying it to myself. Watch the fucking video, man. <laughs> as someone who's going to directly experience both old school and new school, I want to figure out which is definitively a objectively and permanently better. You know, there's, there's been a lot of discussions on the internet. God, I can't even do the fucking tutorial. <laughs> I want to objectively figure out which is the better RuneScape. So, at the end of each episode, we're going to rank them uh, the best one and the worst one. And, and let me tell you now, everyone watching, whichever game you think is objectively the best game out of the two is the one I think. It's crazy how we're in sync like that. Most uh, RuneScape series skip the tutorial, but I thought I would <laughs> I wanted a good goal. I know the, uh, that RuneScape and OSRS have like similar bosses, but I feel like a quest cape shows you the most of the game and is gonna most appropriately answer which is the better game. Is RS3 is suck or is OSRS is suck? And I think along the journey, we might find out the two games might be a little more similar than our, than our little societies like to predate. I thought you gained levels on Tutorial Island, but I'm, I'm, I'm now finding out that I'm a bit of a dumb c as, as my people would call me. I thought this was gonna be a wacky little fun adventure where we swap back and forth and I get frustrated. I'm trying to cook a shrimp, but I know I'm in RS3 now. They changed all the settings and now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Stop changing my my nostalgic game. I'm too dumb to adapt. That's why I play OSRS. Hey brother, we're not gonna get a level I'm now learning, which it, it's kind of ruining my series, but that's fine. I'm not, I'm not bitter. I wasn't expecting this to be a fun, wacky romp where we learn a lot about each other. We grow as people and understand that the games aren't that similar. I was actually, I was actually just trying to play RuneScape. It's good making a video when I actually have a concept. It's rare these days. <laughs> Yank, send me to the fucking mainland. Whoop. Happy anniversary, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad that RuneScape remembered our anniversary. I thought they wouldn't be able to figure it out. Let's go and get the best fucking level of the game and switch over to the other one. Hard cut. Hard cut to RS3. But now, we do the same thing again, and it's slightly more tedious. Do you reckon there's any gonna be any difference? Oh, he <gasps> Wait a minute! Does RS3 still have the burnt shrimp to fuck with you? So in old school, they removed the burnt shrimp because they didn't want players starting on a negative experience. Which is like, fuck off, man. The burnt shrimp's iconic. I want players going into old school to be like, wow, you suck. <laughs> I want this game to have like a an NPC just sitting at the side there that goes, Hello, welcome to the game that's going to consume the next 20 years of your life. You're an idiot. <laughs> you know, in RS3, you can just sit here and look over the water. In old school, there's a giant fucking... <laughs> Wall. <laughs> so in my RS3 series that I made, OSRS player plays RS3, which I'm going to reference a lot, I feel like. Everyone got mad at me for not doing the tutorial. This is the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did they get mad at me? This time I specifically sat here and did the tutorial so I could avoid comments of people telling me I'm an idiot. This is the same thing. I've done this a million times before. I could do this with my eyes fucking closed. Um, I also want to say... <laughs> All good creators laugh at their own jokes. I want to say, guys, um, that this is a completely unbiased series. Um, I'm going into this with zero biases. You may be like, well, isn't that impossible? Isn't everything inherently biased because we're humans with flawed cognitions? And to that, I would say, no. This is an objective, permanent, definitive decision on which is the better game because that matters, you know? Because I believe that it's healthy to argue about superiority. I think elitism actually might be the most important part to games because it breeds an upper echelon of community. If you don't have elitism, how will you know that you're better than everyone else? Like imagine the ego of people if they can't for sure know that of all people, they are the greater. So that's what this series is about. It's about breeding um, arguments and elitism. That's why Actually, my goal in life is I want to make bad people worse. <laughs> I'm a big fuckhead. I'm a big fruit head for the uh, for the kids watching. Hey kids, do you like drugs and porn? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to relate to the youths. Um, <laughs> oh, I miss that giant wall of water. <laughs> It really makes Tutorial Island not feel like home. Um, alright. And then, now this is the second time we've learned that you don't actually gain a level on Tutorial Island. This first, like, five minutes of this video was inherently pointless. <laughs> That's what I love about Hanani's content, you know? You watch some good content out there, you watch Nine Rain, you watch fucking Trails, they achieve something. But little old Hanani, <laughs> we watch her content because nothing happened. And now we're on to fucking, we're in Bertho because that's where you spawn here. Whoa, the games are so different. So people got mad at me for, um, for skipping that last time. Uh, to all the people who got mad at me, you, you're not watching. <laughs> um, let's go play the game I'd much rather be playing. Uh, unbiased, by the way. <laughs> So if you haven't seen my other series, I, I start off by saying I'm an unbiased party as a joke. Um, but I forgot that the internet, we don't do jokes. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> fuck me. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. So I just recorded the wrong screen for 20 minutes. Um, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen a bit. It wouldn't be an nanny video if I didn't fuck up the basic concept of the video. So, <laughs> welcome back to old school. What am I gonna- I guess I'll just do the tutorial and get an overlay out. Fuck me. <laughs> just literally recorded a login screen. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. I need a break. I need a break. Come back to this shit video idea. Alright, so it's been about a week since the first half of this video. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that fucking shattered me. <laughs> Not recording the right screen is gonna happen a lot and it really fucking sucked. So I've been hanging out with a lot of RuneScape creators recently because of the uh, RuneCraft SMP Minecraft server. You know, check it out. All the creators linked below. Unrelated, you should go and follow everyone on Twitch. And they all actually play the game and like record progress videos, which is something I've never really done. So I think with this series, I'm gonna try and make it more progress related. Like stuff is actually gonna happen. It's just not gonna be me talking to myself. No, it's still gonna be that, but... <laughs> I want to make a progress video thing. Sorry, I'm getting so fucking tongue twisted because it's very jarring to swap between games. Who would have guessed? We need combat levels. And to do combat, we need weapons and supplies. And to do that, we need money. And to get money, there's only one way little old woodcutting pure me knows how to make money. So I think future Hannah, put in like a woodcutting montage here and cut this part out. You will, I know you're not going to cut this part out. Well, apparently I died off screen. <laughs> So this is gonna happen a lot too, I think. <laughs> I was walking to the uh, Grand Exchange so I could buy some more axes and I was chopping wood on the way and apparently I just died. <laughs> so thank God these aren't hardcores like I was thinking about. I literally just alt tabbed because I got a level and I'm just dead. My effect on the economy is finally paying off. Apparently they go for 90, but because all of us have fucking buy offers in. They don't actually go for 90. <laughs> I think on my other account, I'm buying them for 200. Also, apparently I'm a big fuckhead because that's level six. You'd think someone who has a whole series dedicated to this would know that it's one up for fucking whatever reason. So I gotta buy a bronze axe again. Fuck, look at the fucking price difference. They're selling for 30 bucks over at old school and here they're 400 bucks. I, I shouldn't be surprised because inflation exists still, but... <laughs> That's still surprising to me. Deal axe. 
Nope, I'm an RS3 creator. I should know this by now. <laughs> it hatches it. And then we can do this fucking fancy shit. We put him a tool belt. Because if we just buy a rune hatchet, it acts for all the other ones. It's nine ca- We could get that in like a fucking- Wait, all right. We're going to get that. We don't have to buy each axe like they have to do over on old school. Fuck, who would play old school? Because I'm an RS3 player. And fucking, this is not going to pass the fucking lame Oi, what did that fucking account just say about me? It's comedy. It's comedy because we're, we're different people talking to ourselves, even though we're the same person. You guys understand comedy, right? <laughs> Apparently someone's recording a YouTube video over here. Oh my god, is this on YouTube? God, look at this sexy fuck. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having you double my money. <laughs> So much for this bigger progress series. I want to be on fucking YouTube. I want my five minutes of fame. Please include me in your video entertainment. All I want from life is to be a YouTuber. That is a uh, phrase that no one's ever said. And as someone who is a YouTuber, I can attest is horrible. <laughs> I want to be famous. I want to meet Zezima. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a genuine, look at it, he's a pretty good Twitch streamer, I'm not gonna lie, he's got 2k followers, that's more than me. Wait, let me double check that. That's not more than me, but <laughs> it's an empty amount. <laughs> Who's your favorite Golden Gnome winner, best new RS3 <laughs> Shout out to this guy for giving me a rude axe. Um <laughs> I was gonna give it back to him so we could trade it over for the video. Um, cheers. <laughs> Thanks to this random guy. Oh, we gotta just get another axe. Get the shit ones. Wait. <laughs> Apparently the drug stream is gonna hop on a call with me, which is exciting. Oh my god, this is the first rude axe he's giving me on video. Thank you, man. Whoa. Wow. How generous. <laughs> I want to talk to the drug streamer. Want to be my friend? I want to. I want to. Add, I want to be his best friend. He's my one friend now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just great earning money for yourself? No donations, just working your ass off to get the things you need. That's what RuneScape is about. <laughs> well, look, I'm honestly, I'm just here for free stuff. Do you want to? Do you have like an axe I can borrow? You want to just hang out? What do you want? What are you up to today? <laughs> I'm just drinking some bush lattes over here, bro. That's fun. Why did you do a big giveaway? That's a bit exciting. Oh, just giving, just giving away to the boys. Mr. Drunk Streamer, new best friend. I've, I've got this new series, you see. Okay, what, what do we got? What do we got going? Uh, it's a little mix between RS3 and OSRS. But I've just started. Uh, you were doing a massive giveaway, and I just want to leech off you, basically. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll be very blunt. <laughs> yeah, I like blunt. That's, that's good, man. Yeah, do I count as one of the boys, even though I've only just learned of your stream about 10 minutes ago. Hey, I mean, you can get there. How would I constitute myself to become one of the boys? You seem like a chill dude. Thank you. You're on YouTube is what they're saying? I gotta check out the series, bro. Yeah, what do you got yeah. going on? Uh, there's a bunch of series. Not very good. I wouldn't bother checking them out. I'm not a full-time content creator. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> anyway, can I free stuff now? <laughs> I'm not that rich, okay? Oh. Like, I have... Yeah. 20, what I gave away like 20 mil. I have like 20 mil left. I'm trying to milk that shit as long as I what can. What if I give you? I don't have that much money, bro. What if I give you free stuff? Will you give me free stuff in return? It doesn't sound like, why, why, why would we do that? True, that just seems like a trade. I just want the rush of free stuff, you know? And there's nothing that quite adds up to it in RuneScape. What do you reckon a new account needs to start off well in old school? What are you, you just starting off in old school and yeah. you need some uh, supplies? Or, or ideas, mostly ideas. I ran out of video ideas like a good year ago. So if you could give one of those, that'd be that'd be pretty helpful. Want your little something to aid in your two handed switch. Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> Hello. This is my gift to you. To, to oh my God, that's beautiful. You got to use it well though. You got to destroy Destroy some noobs with it. Oh fuck! Look oh, at that. It go. brings out let's your go. fucking eyes. <laughs> Every time you murder someone with that thing, I need to think of me. All right, I will. I promise. I'll let you go then, as you as All you're right. probably gonna want to sleep and be hungover. So I need to go get some uh, drunk munchies. Take yeah. it easy. Thank oh you so yeah, much. it was fun. It was fun talking to you. It was see good you to meet you, dude. Yeah, see you around. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Well, I was hoping for free stuff, but I ended up just giving away uh, three mil. So. <laughs> Thank you.
And that is 41. What really fucked with me is in RS3, this bank has two fucking sides and in OSRS it only has one. And that might not seem like a confusing thing, but fuck me did it hurt my little head. Money wise, on RS3 we've made around 200k, which is a significantly more amount than I was expecting. <laughs> on OSRS, we made around 80k, which again is pretty damn good. You may be wondering why I cut Oaks all the way to 41, and that's because fucking willows, everyone trains them that way. So the cost of willows are just absolutely dog shit. But you know what? Another little thing that fucked with me. <laughs> so over at these oaks, there's this fucking fence and it doesn't have a goddamn fence post at the end. Like all of these other fences are normal. And then there's this one fucking fence here. It just sticks out for no goddamn reason. And I thought it was like a graphical glitch. But if you go back to fucking RS3, it's the same fucking thing. Which means is it intentional? I guess it has to be intentional. Because they revamped all the graphics and they left the same fucking post sticking out. Is this just like like some world building where the carpenters forgot how fucking fences work? Or is this a mistake? This was fucking with me for ages. <laughs> But yeah, we're at 41 woodcutting. I think at the start of next episode, we'll go buy some combat supplies. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> There's progress, guys. Next episode, we're going to progress a little more. Aren't you fucking intrigued, dickheads? Haven't I hook, lined, and sinkered you in, pricks? And I think I think we got to make a decision. What is the better game, you know? We've, we've been playing this for now about a day. And definitively and objectively, the better game is... Comedy, baby! <laughs>